Tiki. This woman apparently just lost her job for saying she was looking forward to a Harry Potter game. Bum Bum -bum Man, how did we as a society became this? If you play GTA, that means that you're gonna rob banks in real life. They're gonna get Bruh. to that point. Alright, so check this out, guys. I got a crazy video that I want to show you, but drop a thumbs up if you're buying Hogwarts Legacy. Dislike the video if you're not. Apparently, 1 million plus people are looking to boycott Hogwarts Legacy. The number is still growing. We even got devs responding, and this is gonna be a shocker, okay? Get ready for this one. You might want to fasten your seatbelt, sit down, hide your wives, put your kids to beds, because the Xbox head came forward, and he defended the entire Harry Potter. I mean... Shout, shout out to the homie, man. That's all I gotta say because you know for the fact that these woke mob, they are gonna go at Xbox and they're gonna say Xbox is transphobic. We should boycott Xbox. This is some of the biggest Bumbocat. of the entire history. But guys, I'm gonna get right into it. I gotta show you this video here. Drop a thumbs up. I'm also doing a $100 giveaway. If you're interested, check out the top pin comment below. I, I do that every single month. And once you enter, you are entered for good. And with this money, you can buy Hogwarts Legacy, guys. You can buy Hogwarts Legacy, you can buy anything on PlayStation, Xbox, you want those PSN cards? I got you, okay? But I need to show you this, so check this now, out. As many of you have noticed in the last week or so, a number of influencers and gaming outlets got to play a number of hours of Hogwarts Legacy, and mostly the previews have been overwhelmingly positive. Obviously, yep. that is not necessarily a definitive statement on the overall quality of Hogwarts Legacy. We won't know until full playthroughs are made and complete reviews are made, but previews like How many of you guys are buying the game because you, you love it, and how many of you guys are buying the game because you want to prove the woke is wrong. I want to know your thoughts on this. It's from Games Radar. Just it's a reason why people are excited for it. Hogwarts Legacy preview. This could be the wizarding RPG we've been waiting for. Hogwarts Legacy wants to give you the freedom to be your best wizard or witch self, even if that means embracing the darkness. After spending Bruh. about an hour or so with Hogwarts Legacy at a recent preview session, the sense of choice but also skill is almost terrifyingly palpable. From dialogue choices to how to approach specific moments, or even just which spells to learn, it seems navigating your way through the famed school of witchcraft and wizardry and the alluring narrative that surrounds it is going to be full of micro decisions that may or may not impact other elements of magical life now additional there was also drama related to the witchcraft right like apparently if you are if you become evil in this game that's like classic you should not do that you're problematic you're wrong you're menace to society i mean it's a game damn it like god damn man like dude, we're living in end times guys y'all might want to repent now man it's gonna get to the point where just playing any game because it's already happening on twitch even with youtube you cannot show violent gameplay in the first 15 seconds that uh, you cannot show like Call of Duty gameplay in the first 15 seconds. You can show it, but they can demonetize you if they find it uh, problematic, if they find that you're wrong. wrong. I don't understand how we became this soft as a society, as, as humans. It's just crazy to me that this wasn't even a discussion 10 years ago, right? And all of a sudden it's a discussion, all of a sudden that, 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 that the video games are problematic right now, all of a sudden art is problematic, all of a sudden you cannot see certain things. It, it's crazy, man. Tales we've learned in the last week are also exciting as the game appears to be around 30 to 40 hours long, at least Damn. the main narrative. We also learned a number of different details such as the mad, it's very magical like the movies, uh, there's up to 120 hours of playtime, there's supposedly <laughs> around 100 to 150 side quests, there's a transmog system which is great for customization. There are no romances here though. Uh, there's four levels of difficulty, there's many different mini games, although Quidditch is not included this time around, unfortunately. Yeah, that's, there's 26 spells. That's a miss, honestly. I hope they drop Quidditch as DLC in the future. ...to choose from different seasons, there's a day-night cycle, and then some other additional details is that a lot of previewers said that the combat is a highlight, it's very authentic to the source material, uh, the character creator got a lot of compliments, and there's just tons of content, and so far the people who have played it have said that it lives up to the hype. So yeah, overwhelmingly, extremely positive impressions so far on this game but yet the controversy and outrage just continues to grow and that is because of jk rowling and her being the owner of this franchise even though she doesn't have uh be honest right like we're gonna pump the brakes there okay i'm not not a hundred percent this might be a little bit toxic a little bit problematic i'm not a hundred percent familiar with jk rowling because i really don't even give a damn what the artist gotta say like you're creating art and if the art is good that's amazing right because nine out of ten times if you follow the artist 
Because we're all humans. We all are going to say dumb things one day or the other, right? We all are going to say some things that people will not agree. I will say some things that you're not going to agree. You will say some things that I'm not going to agree. And that's perfectly fine. You know, this is called conversation. This is called like me and you like talking and just having a conversation, going back and forth, throwing ideas at each other. This is how we learn and grow, learning and growing, learning and growing, strong and independent. The West want to push the agenda down uh, to these females. Uh, be, you you got to be strong and independent. Females are becoming more masculine men are becoming more feminine right they want to push this agenda right. down but they don't want to hear they don't want to let you have a conversation they they don't want to let you they don't want to let people be people that's absolutely insane to me I personally have not dug super deep into it, but I've seen certain things and it feels like that JK Rowling just doesn't agree with the, the trans culture and stuff like that. And that's her opinion. That's her right. But she still, uh, basically she said that like trans uh, women are not real women, but she still supports trans community. That's basically the part I got. And that's her right. That's her opinion. You, you can disagree. You can disagree. Uh, you don't have to be like, you boycott everything, you know, let's set the world on fire. She believes in biology she believes in science is that that's absolutely wild play any creative role in the development of hogwarts legacy that doesn't matter to a lot of people because yes there's a financial incentive that she gets from this game but recent actors that were announced to be a part of it simon Pegg faced some pretty intense backlash recently when it was announced Bruh. that he was going to be participating or playing a role i believe he's the headmaster phineas nigelis uh, black playing a pretty important character and some of the remarks that people made about his involvement in the game can be summed up with this supporting they didn't even let simon Simon, bro. That type of person works that keeps her relevant in the media is bad, actually, Simon. I hope you're really ashamed of yourself and how trans people <laughs> all over the world are deeply disgusted by your decision. And that's kind of the overall bro. sentiment that a lot of people shared about this. We also saw an actual actor who's playing one of the main characters, main character voices yeah, in the yeah, game, yeah, yeah. apologizing for being a part of it, saying, I was cast in the project over three years ago, back when all Harry Potter was to me, it was the magical world I grew up with. This was long before I was aware of Rowling's views. I believe wholeheartedly that, and then he gives, obviously, that he supports trans uh, people. Now, that is just an example of the impact that the boycott movement has had on those actually involved in the development of this game. Heck, just to understand how truly ridiculous Man. all this has gotten, an unrelated video game company worker, she worked for limited run games, like a video game boutique. This woman apparently just lost her job for saying she was looking forward to a Harry Potter game. Boom, Boom oh God. God. Man, how did we as a society became this? They, they are always saying that you're toxic, you're problematic, you're menace to society, you're wrong because you're a wrong. man. And all of a sudden, it's like you're looking forward to a game. How did we, as a society, looking forward to a game apparently is toxic? That's like double bumble cloud bumble right there, bro. God. That is truly insane to me, man. Truly insane. Company of sorts. She went on Twitter, said she was excited for Hogwarts Legacy, and she got fired for it. And that was because people went through years ago tweets, a one lukewarm take, and also because of who she follows on Twitter, got her fired for it. It's truly Bruh. insane how all of this has gotten. And that is the summary of the Twitter mobs that have been going after people for showing any bit of support for Hogwarts Legacy. We had this take, uh, Brianna Wu saying, F around and find out. This is why it's really important for decent people to boycott Hogwarts Legacy. I have a lot of friends in games media, but I will be cutting ties to anyone who promotes this. Another account to be fair, no one should be buying the new Harry uh, Potter game. Guys, I'm doing a hundred dollars giveaway. I do that every single month, though. All right, I don't want to sound like I'm trying to find the the anti wokes with the hundred dollar to buy a Hogwarts Legacy. I do that every single month. You enter once and you enter for good, and you can buy whatever you want to. It's not just about Hogwarts Legacy. But listen, man, buy Hogwarts Legacy. <laughs> buy Hogwarts Legacy. But listen, Bruh. honestly though, honestly, be objective about it, right? If you're a fan. You like what you see, get the game. If you like what you see and you're skeptical, just wait three, four days, you're gonna get a lot of reviews. A lot of the re reviews are gonna be biased. Let me actually keep a buck 50 with you. You're either gonna see 10 out of 10s or you're gonna see zero out of zero. This time, it will Bruh. really be interesting. And do not believe the reviews, just watch gameplay. If you're skeptical, however, that that is if you're skeptical. If you're skeptical, watch a lot of gameplay on YouTube, watch reviews once the game is out, and if you see there's no bugs, if the content is finished, if the game is finished, go get it. And if you're not a fan of it, you 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 don't need to buy the game to prove people wrong that you do not know. But again, it's your money. You can do whatever you want to. If you want to prove people wrong, man, you can join the fight. You can join the fight and you can buy the game. I got none against that, bruh. If you love the game, get it, man. Game in general, the plot is that type of Semitic and JKR gets money from royalties, which goes towards that. If you buy this game, it's easy to assume you're not an ally to 
Jewish people or trans people. This isn't right. complicated. And again, that point about this game being anti-Semitic is just bizarre because nobody's actually played the game and these are assumptions that people are making. It's it's insane. Another person, actual streamer, saying, my uh, request yeah, to you all, that. please don't support Hogwarts Legacy. And that feeling is not exclusive to this one person, as other streamers have also said this. It seems to be a lot of debates happening between streamers about how to treat Hogwarts Legacy and whether or not to support it in any sort of fashion, Man. which is just, it just shows how all of this boycott craziness has gotten out of hand, in Man. my opinion. But we've also- since, since when? Guys, listen, everybody gather on, okay? Gather on, gather on. Am I insane for thinking this? Am I insane? Because, like, I don't find being mad about a video game to this level, I cannot compute that. If a game is trash, if a game is unfinished, yeah, man, people are dropping memes, people are going at it, people are asking for refunds. That is understandable. That type of, uh, what they want to call it, uh, toxic and problematicness, that is understandable because you spend your hard-earned cash, $60, $70 right now, and if you're in Canada like me, a hundred dollars, okay? You spend that much money, you deserve to get a product that works. And if the product doesn't work, you have the absolute right to get your money back. That's understandable. So if you're gonna be like, okay, give me my money back, you're angry, you're mad with that, you're going all around the internet and talking about it, that's understandable. But the, the, the fact that people are going this heavy and the streamers that usually would play video games on their, on their streams, now they're having this debate and they're like, oh, should I play this game? Should I not play this game? If I play this game, all of a sudden, I'm trans for it. Ow, that's the stupid. That is insane, man. Am I insane for, bruh, that's like, I can, <laughs> let's let's play this one. We had previews from outlets like IGN, which got heavily downvoted because they spent a good portion of their preview towards yeah. the end speaking against Rowling's views and almost making it a point that you should feel bad for playing. We, we reacted to that video. I will link you that video at the end. Two out of ten IGN, guys. Two Hogwarts out of 10 Legacy IGN. because of those views. Of course, anyone who chooses to play Hogwarts Legacy must contend with all sorts of contradictions, most of which are far more important than the usual dissonance we tend to find in video games. J.K. Rowling has established herself as one of the most prominent anti-trans mouthpieces on the planet. The character creator in Hogwarts Legacy offers a huge amount of gender diversity, but that cannot change the fact that the author of these books remains the proprietor of the Harry Potter intellectual property. Mm -hmm. If purchasing this video game feels like a tacit endorsement of Rowling's retrograde worldview, nobody can say you're wrong. It looks like Bruh. we're finally getting a good Harry Potter game. Shouldn't it yeah, feel better? Yeah, fi finally getting a good Harry Potter game, but you're wrong. wrong. You're toxic. You're transphobic. You're managed to society. You are what's wrong with society. It was a very strange thing that IGN did with their preview, and this is something that a lot of people called out on Twitter and social media, but that just shows that the war between these two sides, in which you have a lot of people arguing that it's dangerous to support Hogwarts Legacy. And then yeah. there's others also dangerous. pointing out the fact that this is all ridiculous. This is overblown. And if you're going to play other games like, uh, let's just say, for example, Genshin Impact, Valorant, Call of Duty Warzone, Assassin's Creed. All of them have controversial histories, recent histories, and then you also just have the fact that Activision mm. Blizzard CEO Bobby Kotick recently, in recent history, covered up serious abuse that happened under his watch. Ubisoft yeah, as well. Yeah, but yeah. Bobby Kotick especially threatened in his past to off an assistant. He also posed as a yeah. female executive to an open letter to staff to downplay the serious misconduct that he covered up under his watch. So yeah, I guess some people will be it's like, like It's like saying, okay, after all of this information came out, it's like, if you play Activision games, all of a sudden, you support harassment. All of a sudden, you agree with everything Bobby Cotty gotta say. That's just, that's just stupid. Stupid. Man. That's just insane, man. You, bro, games got, they, games got none to do with that, bro. Like, just all I'm gonna say here is that, bro, like, don't hurt other people, okay? Enjoy your life, do whatever you love, right? As long as you're not hurting anybody, you're good with me, man. As long as you are not hurting other people, you're living your life, you're buying whatever. It's your money, man. Buy this game if you like it. If you don't like it, don't buy it. Simple as that. Simple as that. Where is the logic going, man? Where is the logic going, man? The West is, it's donezo, man. The West is going down fast because this is not even a topic of discussion uh, on the other side of the planet, guys. This is like, a what about is it? Is it really? Because there's a lot of just nasty things that are happening in this video game industry and the executives at the top are just getting richer and richer. So yes, I do think it is worth mentioning that and talking about how games media has treated Hogwarts Legacy very differently than all these other controversies that have happened in gaming. Uh, you don't see Diablo 4 having mentioned of Bobby Kotick and 
how he's benefiting from the game and also just of all the nasty disgusting things that he's yeah. done but for some reason hogwarts legacy is the sole exclusive game that has gotten this type of treatment you have articles just random articles about uh the art book reveals game length world map and then at the bottom of the article it's like a huge warning about rawling and how she's financially <laughs> benefiting from this game and then you have some people on twitter the warning if you want to know about this video game warning you should also know about the politics warning you're looking for a gameplay you want to watch gameplay you want to buy harry potter and well you're wrong, wrong because if you buy that you're transphobic you're menace you're menace to society you're bad you're a bad human being Bro, just stop, man. How did we get this lore as a society, man? <laughs> that is crazy. If you're watching this video, I really want to know your thoughts, okay? I want to know your thoughts. Just buying a game that you like, and you're you're not hurting anyone, okay? You're absolutely not. You're just, you just want to be you. You just want to play the game you want to enjoy. And even if you're not buying the game, that's your right. I'm not saying that, yo, buy this game. I'm also not saying do not buy this game. Do whatever the F you want to. It's perfectly fine. Am I... It, it, Twitter mobs, which are just making up BS lies that the developers, uh, they've already been paid. That's just completely nonsense. Troy Brett. Levitt, former developer on this game, who he himself faced some controversy. We talked about that in previous videos and how that was overblown. I worked for Avalanche for many years. The studio always shared its financial successes with its employees via generous bonuses. Buying Hogwarts Legacy primarily supports the people that made the game. And as many have also pointed out, Rawlings- Give that brother a bonus right now, right now. Probably also already been paid via, via licensing agreements. So it's just really weird. A lot of the made up nonsense that you see online like the developers have already been paid there's no reason to buy hogwarts legacy you're just giving her money that's just not true at all but regardless we did see the actual game director of hogwarts legacy give a response to the controversy surrounding the game and this is what ellen 2 had to say to ign uh -oh. i think for us there are challenges in every game we've worked on the game has been no different when we bumped into those challenges we went back yep. and refocused on the stuff that we really care about we know our fans fell in love with the wizarding world and we believe they fell in love with it for the right reasons we yep. know that's a diverse audience for us it's making sure that the audience who always dreamed of having this game had the opportunity opportunity to feel welcomed back mm. they have a home here and that it's a good place to tell their story mm -hmm. and the thing is the developers behind this project have worked with trans organizations that that's a w response w response they simply want to make the game and they did not really touch on the politics that's actually w response w response they've also gone out of their way to incorporate trans character customization they've done everything right but because of Rowling and because of her views, and the, again, she has no creative involvement in this project, it's just been, they've constantly been teared down. And then you have articles like this from Escapist Magazine saying, this response from how the Hogwarts Legacy director notably dodges the topic of these type of issues. It's a blanket Brett. reply that too reiterated when IGN asked if he personally ever had any hesitations when it came to working in the Harry Potter universe. Again, they're trying to make the people that are involved- Y'all wanna be victims so bad. Y'all wanna be victims so bad. This was not a topic of discussion, guys. Like two years ago, we were not talking about that. A year ago, heel, we were talking about unfinished games. We had different problems, but now we got different issues. Now we got different problems. A year from now, it's gonna get to the point where you cannot even talk about video games. If you play Call of Duty, you're toxic. You should not play Call of Duty because if you play Call of Duty, you support killing other people. That's that's where it's gonna get to. That's where it's gonna lead to. If you play GTA, th that means that you're gonna rob banks in real life they're gonna get Bruh. to that point they're really gonna get to that point all these games feel bad while the game's director's words seem to represent an attempt to comfort audiences it doesn't change the fact that hogwarts legacy's legacy is already far too tainted by rawling's words to ignore now another thing that was very mm. interesting just because of timing was the actual xbox head phil spencer giving some uh -oh. just interesting remarks recently at an award show As kotaku writes microsoft gaming ceo phil spencer juxtaposed the joys of gaming with the current uh -oh. sense of despair in the world of it after accepting the andrew yoon legend award at the 12th annual new york Game Awards uh, about a week or so ago. He also applauded creators who still release their visions into the world in the current culture of criticism and cancellation. A loaded line of times when debates are raging about the ethics of boycotting certain games like Hogwarts Legacy. As world builders, our greatest responsibility is to inspire and invite joy. Feels like today, seeking joy is an act of defiance. Yeah. A lot of people. Ver w Phil. W Phil. W Phil, W Phil, that's a W response. You know what? They're gonna label Phil as toxic and problematic. They're gonna be like, yo, you know what, Phil? You're transphobic. You, you, you're toxic. You, you should be fired. They're they're gonna eat his job, bruh. Like, damn. Very, son. very upset with those remarks, uh, believing that he was talking about Hogwarts Legacy. Some also thinking that this may have been in regards to the recent controversy surrounding High on Life. You can debate about that. Yeah, but true, it is quite clear true. that there's a lot of people within this video game industry that are unhappy with how. Yo, plot twist. He never meant to say that about Hogwarts Legacy. He meant to say that for High on Life and other games, and people thought that he was talking about Hogwarts Legacy. 
Bomboka! I guess you could say social media just really goes after developers for anything. And I just find it ridiculous that the Hogwarts Legacy developers, they've done everything right here. They've tried to make this as inclusive, yeah. as fun for everybody, to have an enjoyable time, to relive those childhood dreams that we all had. But again, because of somebody who's not actually involved in the development of this game, they're being attacked and a lot of people just want to bring out the pitchforks for it. But yeah. obviously, I don't think that's going to work. And I think most of you would agree it's probably not going to work just based not on the Not going to work. But ladies and gentlemen, you want to see that 2 out of 10 IGN review? Click on this video on the screen. Some of the craziest review or click the video on the left because the dev actually talked about the multiplayer. Check these videos out, guys, and I will see you right there.